Reflection on the Power of Communion In Mark chapter 14, verses 22 to 25, the Bible records that, And as they did eat, Jesus took bread, and blessed and brake it, and gave to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until that day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Here in this passage, we witness a powerful and intimate moment with Jesus and his disciples. As he breaks the bread and shares the cup, he reveals the meaning of his sacrifice. The bread is his body and the wine is his blood, poured out for the forgiveness of many. This act was more than a meal. It was the sealing of a new covenant, a commitment of love and redemption. What a humbling reminder that Jesus gave himself completely for us inviting us into a new relationship with God that nothing can break. Every time we remember this, we're reminded that our past mistakes, fears, and doubts don't define us anymore. Christ's sacrifice reshapes our lives, replacing guilt with grace, weakness with strength, and death with life. Today, let's honor this love by living with hope and gratitude. Every moment is a chance to embrace the freedom, joy, and peace He has made available when we feel unworthy. Let us remember that the price has already been paid. Let's walk boldly in the light of His love, always mindful that His grace covers every part of our journey. Jesus says, Take, eat, this is my body, this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for you. May the power in the blood of Jesus provide healing and deliverance to your soul and break every negative covenant in your life in the name and by the blood of Jesus.